Well, I hunt because of my father, I guess, you know. I trailed along behind him. He respected the animals and, and nature. That's what was different about him. Looking back, when I was just a little kid, I, I wore the same holy boots hunting that I wore down the barn. And now here I am today. I've got sponsors basically giving me any piece of gear that I want or need. But yet I find myself trying to navigate my way back to the innocence, the simplicity and the purity of the sport that just came naturally and happened inherently when I was 12 years old. If you're gonna be dumb, you better be tough. That's the mon modern day mountain man mantra. Yeah. <laughs> I call him all kinds of things. Usually, usually blunder boy. I might have to cut him off. <laughs> we warn you, Jimbo. <laughs> move it, move it. I like to move it. Shots fired. When it rains and pours in this business, so I'm sure this is all highly illegal. Well, let's go get them, guys. Yep. All right. Let's go get them. And so I sit here today, 45 years old, looking back at it now. I've wandered all over the world. I've had so many adventures. But I realized that God was guiding me the whole time. Wasn't always listening, but he was there. Romans 8:28 says that God works for good all things to those who love him and are called according to his purpose. And this is the story about how he brought it all together, full circle. If you shot a buck, a celebration was you got to have some pie. I mean, how much simpler can you get?